Nicknames are often associated to a person's occupation, personality, or even physical appearance. As everyone knows, the mob is famous for nicknaming guys. And I'll give examples of just a few. Joe Cafe, who used to own a cafe. Johnny Sideburns, who years ago kept long sideburns. Little Joey, who's not very tall. Fat Thomas, who carried a lot of weight most of his life. Ronnie one arm, who had a deformed arm from a childhood accident. Uncle Festa, no explanation needed. Sammy the Bull, who said neighborhood guys named him for fighting like a bull. Mikey the Boxer, named by Blaze Carrazzo for his fighting in the Golden Gloves. Georgie Goggles, for his large glasses. Louie and Charlie Jet, for jet towing. Chin Gigante, who most people think came from his boxing days, but actually derived from the Italian version of Vincenzo, which is Cenzino. Ralphie the Undertaker, whose family owns Balsamo Funeral Home in the Bronx. Matty the Horse, named for his horse-like strength. Sally Bread, who has a bread company. Spanky, who resembles the character from The Little Rascals. Carmine the Snake, for double-crossing the Gallo crew. Vinnie Gorgeous, who owned the beauty salon. Louis Bagels, who owned the bagel store in Howard Beach. Fat Pete, a name obviously due to his size. Tommy Karate, known to be into martial arts. Benny Eggs, whose family owned the egg store. Sal the Golfer, who enjoyed playing golf. Georgie Neck, who had a large neck. Big Paul, who was tall, but also called Nazabit for his large nose. Lucifer, named by his inner circle. Tough Tony, who in his younger years was very tough. Joe Bananas, a takeoff of his name, whose family was often referred to as the Bananas. Gas Pipe, who earned a nickname from his father, who would use a pipe on guys. Pee Pee Brain, a name given to him by his brother. And the one nickname most people never heard of belongs to the former Lucchese on the boss, Joe Napoli. We called him Navy. And no, he wasn't in the military. One day, Joe Perna was talking to him and noticed that Joe had the word Navy written under one shoe. And he asked him why. Joe DiNapoli said, I'm colorblind, so all my shoes are marked by color. Hence the name Navy. I hope you enjoyed this video. Enjoy the rest of your day. Add your favorite nickname down in the comments.